astronomy. This poem is about my team and our journey from forming a poetry team to going on to the Louder Than a Bomb competition. In the beginning, there was nothing. Not a word was heard, no sound or light. Not a single thought, and no stars in sight. Imagination was just a dream, and even dreams were lost to the blight. But then, boom! A big bang. An ear-splitting explosion that instantaneously exposes hallways and classes to a diversification of stars and gases. And the massive, masses of matchless stars that are collapsing under the megaton mass of their daily misery, those stars glow brightest from the darkest histories. Compressed by the atomic mass of a life of pain, they exude the energy of a fusion reaction taking place. And this reaction is just a fraction of the real action going on in the back. Despite the similarities of the stars' despair, the disparities kept them dispersed out there. And no matter had the matter or the gravity to gather all the stars to one place so their burning would matter. It took a slice in the silence, a cutting of the calm. It took a blast of proportion, something louder than a bomb. And that was the motivation for the stars' fabrication of their own congregation. It was simply admiration. They were just an assortment of dwarfs that dared to be giants who put aside the disparities to form an alliance, and together they filled bomber lines with their darkest times, and in themselves found a brighter shine in the will to rise. And from high above the social lines, they shoot down their stellar rhymes, and if only for three minutes at a time, before the universe, they stood. Divine. And when they took the stage, they took the times to show their shine to you. And when they illuminated, you were illuminated to what they all went through. So though a few come up here now, the rest are out there proud. And I know for sure that they'll be screaming loud. And that's the only crowd I need because we are a team, a galaxy, a group of stars, gases, and their matters held together by the gravity of something much larger than themselves, a galaxy. And exponential is our growth as we eradicate the ejecta of fundamental elements from the electromagnetic spectrum. We exceed the Eddington limit and all the social boundaries in it. We extract the facts and take you back to the end. And if you think this is the end, then stop, jump back, reassess, and think again. The doubters are tensing because our words are convincing and our power is condensing. They want it to be over. They put the boulder on our shoulders because when we come together, we'll create a supernova. <laughs> Some of you have a fear to stand and follow your heart. And in the universal plan, you'll always have a part. You have to fight not to let the black hole take your dreams. You have to keep flying forward no matter how hard it seems. This is for everyone, not just my team. It doesn't matter who you are. Keep your head above the bar, and I know you'll go far if you always remember you are a star. Thank you.